Since the early 1990s, companies have been focused on the concept of continuous improvement. There are three reasons for this. One, competition has increased thanks to globalization and ever shorter product life cycles. Two, thanks to the broad adoption of lean methods from the Japanese automobile industry, the principles of continuous improvement have become a standard component of corporate management. Three, the ongoing optimization of processes is necessary in order to increase efficiency and quality and thereby stay competitive. The quality and costs of a product are the direct result of an efficient and robust process. By employing lean methods, many organizations in Europe have been successful in reducing built-up inventory buffers and other forms of waste. This has led in turn to the exposure of the inherent weakness of important organizational processes. Work was being interrupted by missing parts, absenteeism and other critical influencing factors in and around the processes. In order to make their processes robust and stable, many companies have introduced Six Sigma. What then is Six Sigma? The term Six Sigma. In mathematics, the Greek letter Sigma is a statistical measurement which indicates the average difference or distance of individual values from the mean average of a data set, i.e. the standard deviation. In the Six Sigma method, this value is meaningful as a measurement of process variation and performance. When used in connection with customer expectations, this measurement indicates the defect rate of a process. A sigma value of 6 means that a process is working nearly defect-free, with a failure rate of only 3.4 defects per million defect opportunities. The sigma level of a process therefore describes the probability of a defect occurring with regard to customer expectations by comparing the process variation in the form of the standard deviation with the tolerance or specification limits of the customer. The Six Sigma method is a systematic customer-driven approach to process improvement with clear goals and responsibilities. All results are measurable and the method makes rigorous use of numbers, data and facts. As already mentioned, Six Sigma is a measurement value which indicates the probability of a defect occurring in a process. The Six Sigma method is the structured method for achieving process improvement. All improvements are implemented within a project framework that employs a uniform phase oriented project plan. Finally, Six Sigma is a corporate philosophy which is based on numbers, data and facts. All decisions concerning the root causes of poor process performance and defects are made based on measurement data. Process performance is at Six Sigma level when the measurement of a particular process characteristic indicates a probability of only 3.4 defects per million opportunities of a defect. This translates into 99.99966% of all parts being within customer specifications. With the Six Sigma method, processes and functional areas are aligned with corporate strategy by continuously optimizing them in terms of efficiency and the meeting of customer requirements. In addition to quality improvement, there is a focus on the increase in customer satisfaction and on the improvement of final business results. Only projects that are based on a business case promising clear results improvements are chosen. On the cost side, important results can be attained by increasing productivity, reducing the costs of poor quality or reducing scrap levels. In terms of sales and turnover, improvement goals can include reductions in throughput times, increases in customer satisfaction, the reduction of warranty costs, as well as the reduction of price discounts. The main goal of all projects is the improvement of the bottom line. Six Sigma projects result in an average business improvement of €250,000 with a range of between €50,000 and €1.2 million. Euros. It is important that project timelines remain within an area of three to six months. Projects should result in an average increase in business results that is equal to three times project costs. The success of a Six Sigma implementation is dependent on several factors. As with any change methodology, the support of top management is of central importance. The creation of a Six Sigma infrastructure with qualified staff is critical for conducting improvement projects, especially in large organizations. To this end, 
it is essential to train a team of green belts and black belts who have mastered the use of Six Sigma tools, including statistical methods for verifying problem root causes. Since all improvements will be developed and implemented with the help of Six Sigma in the form of projects, knowledge of and experience in project management is also critical. Finally, a key element of project success is the standardized project approach in the form of the DMAIC cycle for improving existing processes. For developing new processes or products, there are methods such as Design for Six Sigma, DFSS, or DMADV. The Six Sigma method employs a strict five phase project model known as DMAIC. Define phase the definition and description of the project goal, the clarification of customer requirements, description of current process situation, and a general overview of the process to be improved. Measure phase baselining the current process and a rough estimation of problem root causes and the establishment of their measurements in order to verify these later using statistical tools. Analyze phase, process and data analysis, verification of the true root cause of a problem or defects using statistical tools. Improve phase, development and selection of solutions for the problem as well as the implementation of steps for improvements. Control phase, Control of improvement steps with detailed description of new process steps, project closure and before-after analysis of the new process with new data.